Can you guys hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? If anyone can hear me, please let me know. All right. We're back. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. This was a mess. But let's look at the bright side. I got the page up. Now you can see live score and stuff too. Look at that. You guys can see that, right? Can someone confirm? <laughs> Please. Hassan Ali keeps balling no balls. Brilliant. No balls balled and it's 11 runs. All right, brilliant. So yeah, 11 runs from one delivery. Let's keep it going like that. So from two deliveries, you should have 22 runs, right? That's how it works, right? All right, all right. This is Ghani. I have a feeling this stream's gonna be messed up because, well, that's just how it's been. Um, yeah, it, it is amazing. I've told you about this. It's OBS. It's free, but the thing, I don't know what's going on. It's just like this, is like the fourth time I'm starting and, you know, uh, stopping the stream. So like everyone's gone. <laughs> it's like seven people here now, but it's all right. We're good with seven. Anything above one is good. Yeah, that was weird. How did we go from like a uh, hundred and what was it? Ten with a loss of eight wickets to 174. Well, credit goes to Hassan Ali. He is the one. Um. Wait, Azjid, is that true? Did you actually hurt yourself? Kamran Akmal better score in this match because if he doesn't, that's it. He's done. Like, he's dropped a catch today, too. He's not good with the gloves. And, well, it's not that great with the bat either. Well, he hasn't been. Oh, okay. What were you doing? <laughs> I know you weren't playing cricket, so... It's that uh, computer job, you know, sitting in your cubicle. It's very physical. Well, four of two. Now, if uh, Hazratullah, or as we like to say in Pekhawar, Hazratullah, stays out there for a bit long, well, it might be over for Islamabad. Lovely shot out of the gap. That's a four. That's a four. You're not stopping that. Lovely. Fifteen runs. Four... No, you're not getting too old. You are old. Yes, I don't watch it regularly, so I'm not, like, up to date on everything, but I do watch football, yes. Ooh, swing and a miss from Kamran Akmal. The scores haven't been updated yet. It's we're way far. It's almost the end of the first over. Hello, Aditya. Hello, everyone. If I missed your message, I was just busy f trying to, you know, um, 
make the stream work. I started and stopped and started and stopped the stream like four times. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Kamran Akmal's got to go. Kamran Akmal's got to go. This guy's useless. He drops catches. He misses easy runouts. And he doesn't do anything with the bat. Ah, uh, man. Uh, favorite football team. Favorite football team. Um, it's Real Madrid. Uh, that's the team that I like overall. And then, if you want a specific uh, league, give me that league and I'll tell you what team I like in that league. But overall, in general, I support Real Madrid. No, I'm not watching the Euros. I'm way too busy. I know England played Scotland in Germany as well, I think. Like I know you know things like that, but I don't actually it's been a long time since I've uh, watched it. John O'Weld. Mm -mm. I'm eating. That's why I'm not speaking. Give me a second. <laughs> They're showing Adratullah's uh, innings yesterday. Man, what a game that was. Honestly, Karachi gave up at the end, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. I think the pressure's definitely on the baller because Hathrutula is, you know, he's just incredible. Um, Wait, hold on. I just realized my kit is not completely like theirs. Wait, why is that? I bought this from the official Bashar Zolmi website. They have these lines here like this. I just noticed it. There are these black lines right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lahore, I don't know what happened with them. It just... They were and they were doing so well at the start as well. That's the worst part about it. Faulkner, uh, James, you know Faulkner, he was doing so well. Faulkner. But um, it's part of the game, man. It happens. But Zaze is a better player than Heather Ali. At least in T20. Hedra Lee so far has had like three good innings in his entire career and that's it. Like I like Hedra Lee. I want him to do well but. He doesn't. He plays like one innings in ten matches. That's good you know.
Zazay, I have a feeling, is going to go boom. And also this other guy, Jonathan Wells, he's making his debut today. So I have a feeling he's going to be eager to prove himself, you know. It's the first time he's playing, so he'll be eager to prove himself. Because he's only got, like, two games maximum. If you win this, then one more game. If you don't win this, then that's just one game. So he will be trying to prove himself. And so I, I think Jonathan Wells is going to go off here as well. You know? <clears throat> but yeah, if, uh, if other to luck goes, then... I mean, like, gets going, I mean. Not get out, but starts to hit a couple of boundaries. Yeah, then <laughs> it's over. Salam Hashim. It's good to see he's uh, he's playing carefully, you know? That's good. It's good to see that he's being careful. He's got the ability to just hit a six out of nowhere. So uh, strike rate, run rate, that's not a problem for him. Like, it's just... So far, as it is uh, being very conservative, which, like I said, it's fine. It's, I, I think it's actually pretty good. Nah, man, exams are overrated, Hashim. <laughs> um, next year, Lahore will. I mean, I hope they does. Pretty much everyone's won a PSL except Multan and Lahore, right? Yeah, Peshawar's won one, Islamabad's won two, Quetta's won one, Karachi won last year. So yeah, Multan's already in the final. If Peshawar does not qualify, then obviously I would want Multan to win because they've never won it before, and Islamabad have won it twice. Um, and then it'll just be Lahore who hasn't won a single PSL. Look, let's not talk about captaincy right now. Uh, Bab Razam, ha it hasn't even been a year since Bab Razam's been made captain. Like, this is the problem with us Pakistanis. Like, give the guy a chance at least, you know. He's the captain. Don't, don't worry about captaincy for now, you know. Peshawar? I'm from Peshawar, so as long as I've existed, I've supported Peshawar. I was born in Peshawar. What a shot! <laughs> what? That is such a good shot through extra cover from Hadrulla. Amir is a mediocre bowler, man. Amir used to be good, but uh, right now, I mean, look at his record. He's not been that great. I don't know what's going on. I hope he does well, you know, but he's not doing well. At the moment, Amir is not a good bowler. Yeah, at the start of his career, he was amazing. Um, he was pretty good in that Champions Trophy as well. He was pretty good in that Asia Cup as well. But he's just lost. I don't know what's going on with him. He's just lost it. He he's just not playing as well as he once was, or bowling as well as he once was. Yeah, exactly. Two wickets in forty-eight games like that. <gasps> yes. Ooh, Hazratullah almost lost his wicket. <laughs> yes. I don't know if that's a drop catch or it didn't carry. Whatever it is. I'm happy. It it carried. Okay, that's a drop catch. Come on. Get in. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, probably. Why shouldn't he be? Uh, why is that your point? Why shouldn't Zaze be the player to dominating bowlers and... That's so disrespectful, like why? <laughs> Yeah, that last over was ridiculous yesterday. They dropped two catches, like easy catches, you know, catches that they should have taken, like comfortably. I haven't seen enough of Daniel Aziz. Is that that guy who hit, what was it, 33 runs or something in one over? Quick one. Quick single. Good running. I think it might... I don't know. I, I'm not sure. There are so many uh, new young players, you know. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know who Daniel Aziz is then. I have no idea. Hey, RJ. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Daniel Aziz. Uh, hold on. If I see his face, I might know. Oh, wait, hold on. This is what you guys see, so let me open the window somewhere else. Okay. I just hit the scorecard. <laughs> Daniel Aziz. Okay, it's an old man that came up. <laughs> Is this who you're talking about? Yeah, he's a great player. <laughs> okay, I think you're... I don't know who you're talking about. I just searched Daniel Aziz and there's nobody showing up on Google. There's this old man and, like, politician or something. He's not showing up in the Google search, so I'm not entirely sure. What a shot. Lovely. That's a lovely shot from Hadar Tulazizay. Hadar is, uh, I would say, one of the best T20 batsman in the world right now so if you didn't expect him to do well uh, I mean I don't know what kind of cricket you've been watching but he's been really good I expected him to do well I don't know why you don't think he's a good player he's a good player you know Afghanistan players, like I, uh, they are, uh, what's it called, like a associate or whatever, but they're a new team, you know, there's a lot of players they've got, they're really good players. Mujib Rahman, Mohamed Nabi, Azatullah Zazay is one of them as well. Rashid Khan, obviously everybody knows about Khan, that's a lovely shot. And that'll be another... No, no. They've got Fielder on the rope. Now you're seeing India, right? Let me change it to PSL. Yeah, Hadratullah is uh, going quite slow at the moment. 
But uh, he has the ability to just turn it on whenever he wants. That's why he's so great to watch. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Tapal. <laughs> I keep showing the T like <coughs> what is happening? <coughs> Ahmed Daniel. Yeah, I saw him the other day. Yeah, I know who that is. He was good. Yeah, but the thing about the the new players is like players like uh, Danny and you know Daniel and players like that. They get one good PSL and then you want to bring them to international level. Like international level is no joke, you know. Like that's one of the reasons why. You know, I don't think that comment about Hadratullah, you know, he's someone said, uh, who was it? Hasnain said that he plays well on international level. I thought he won't play well on PSL. Like, no, international level is much better than, much higher level than any of the leagues. Better than IPL, better than PSL, all of them. So when you have a young player performing in the PSL and then you want to bring him up to the international level like that after just one season, you know, it can work. Like with Shaheen, it worked, right? But it can also go very wrong. Like some, of, well, pretty much every other player we brought from the PSL has not performed, right? Asif Ali is another example of that. So... No, Hashim, his PSL stats this season are great because this is the only season he has. Like, that's what I'm saying. We're pushing these people way too early. Yeah, I agree with that. With the uh, associate sides, yeah, sure, play him against them. You know, that's, that's by the way, going to be much better than the quality of PSL as well. Those guys are no joke either. I mean, we saw when Pakistan went up against Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe, it wasn't an easy game for Pakistan, was it? Pakistan actually quite struggled. We won, which is good, <laughs> but it wasn't like an easy win for us. Which was, uh, it was quite surprising. But yeah, um... Shower's doing well so far, man. 37 and 4.1 overs. That's not that bad. What is he... He just let that one go. Yeah, celebration's funny, eh? It's a lovely shot. Gone. Four runs. All right. Brilliant. John Wells. Do you guys think this is going to be a close finish or do you think it's going to be like a couple of big hits here from uh, Jonathan Wells or uh, Zaze and then the game's in the favor of Peshawar? Do you know what I mean? It's not that big of a total. Ooh, gone. Hassan Ali did really well with the bat. Uh, let's see how well he does with the ball, though. Fahim Ashraf so far balled well. Had a couple of dots as well. And he got unlucky with that boundary as well, you know. It wasn't a fully controlled shot. It almost hit the camera guy. 
Yes, Sabine, like, I hope he does well. What a shot. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if there's a couple of good boundaries, uh, one or two good overs for Peshawar, the score is not that much. So then, you know, it's going to be easy for Peshawar. But if they can keep applying pressure, keep taking wickets, keep getting dots, Islamabad, that is, then Peshawar might be in trouble. Because it's not that small of a total either. It is a small total, but it's not, like, real small. It's still pretty good, defendable, you know. But, yeah, Sabine, like, uh, I want him to do well. Obviously, I do. As a Pakistani, I mean, why wouldn't you want the youngsters to do well? But I just think it's a bit too early. I think, uh, you know... Yeah, Yunus Khan uh, quit. Yeah, that's uh, that was very weird. Just out of nowhere, he just quit. Um... But yeah. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's too early for these young players. They need to play one or two seasons minimum before they play. Like you know, like we saw with Hedrelli. We saw the same thing with Hedrelli, right? He played really well last season, and then we brought him to international level, and well. He disappeared, right? He just played that one game against England where he got a 50, and then after that, he didn't do anything, right? Could you see me? No, no. Uh, never. Not in the PSL. You might see me play some other kind of cricket, but no, not PSL. I'm not good enough to play PSL. I agree with that, Hassanin. Uh Hussein Talat is not a natural hitter of the ball. He's not like Hazrat al you know, who can just hit a six whenever he wants. He's someone who needs a bit of time. He's someone who likes to find the gap. And, you know, he's a, he's a classy kind of batsman, like Bab Razam kind of batsman, you know? And batsmen like that need a little time. They can't just, from the first delivery, hit sixes, right? So when you bring him that down the order, well, yeah, he's going to struggle, you know. So I agree with that. I think they should have played him a bit uh, earlier. But honestly, I don't really rate him as that great of a player anyways. You know, I don't think he's that great of a player. We saw him in a couple of games for Pakistan. It wasn't that great. Again, PSL, very different than international level. So it's a whole different ball game, you know, whole different level of... Uh, hold on, let's check what's going on over at uh, the India New Zealand game. Oh, it stumps. Okay, that game ended. All right, so it's 64 runs with a loss of two wickets for India and two wickets both by Saudi. India leading by 32 runs. And I guess there's going to be one more uh, day. And that's it. So right now the game's quite even, uh, but I would say it's more in the favor of Peshawar since they have nine wickets in hands and also they've got an absolute ballistic batsman like Hazrat al uh still out there. So he can really, you know, go after the bowlers. So I would say it's more in favor of Peshawar unless they lose a couple of wickets here quickly. Then Islamabad is back into this game. At the moment, they're going a little over 8 and over. They need a little under 9 and over. It's fine. Up here, as you can see, the current rate is 8.29. Required is 8.93. A little under 9, a little over 8. It's perfect. Game's in the balance at the moment. But, the, uh, uh, Hashim, I'm talking to you. The, uh, yeah, sure, it, it rains a lot in England, but England is also, in my opinion, the best country to play test cricket in. 
You take any other country and then the, those test matches are boring. Maybe New Zealand. But you can't have New Zealand because New Zealand is actually playing, right? It has to be a neutral venue. So, you know. The wickets nowadays are just so crap. Maybe Australia. But again, like, some of the best wickets for... Uh, test cricket are in England better than uh, the Aussie tracks better than Kiwi tracks better than pretty much every other track that's out there in my opinion at least yep <laughs> Sabine that's, uh, that's true <laughs> he did play for us once Hassan Ali. That was a pretty good innings, man. From someone who's not even a batsman to come out and just smash the bowlers all around. Ooh, in a pressure situation as well. It wasn't like an easy, uh, you know, game. Like, it was quite difficult for Islamabad. But, you know. He's done well. He's done really well. Yeah, that's true where I live as well. It's pretty, like, random, the weather. You never know. Like, I think, it, actually, it's raining right now, I think. Yeah, it's actually raining right now. <laughs> so there you go. It's very similar to... I like to open this to get a bit of sunlight, but there is no sun. It's just cloud. Clouds and more clouds and, well, even more clouds. <coughs> Lovely. Gone. Four runs. Thank you, Sad Vlogs. Um, I'm working on the career mode. Uh, right now and after I finish this stream I will record the audio and all that for it but I still have to finish playing the games though I haven't play, finished playing all the games in the season so it will take even longer well, it was not a good idea man to do all the matches in one video but I've started it now so I can't give up on it halfway through you know I'm gonna finish it But yeah, that's it. That's the only time I'm going to be doing all the season games in one video. <laughs> because this is taking way too long. Especially with the kind of schedule I have. I'm so busy, you know. Like, I can't just play four or five games a day. I don't have that kind of time. Free time. Oh, uh, the Chris Gale career mode, you mean? Yeah, that'll come out soon. That's fine. That, I can do that whenever. Like, that's not a problem. The other career mode takes me time to do. Yeah, what, what uh, the bowler has done, the bowler so far has done well uh, here today is they've taken the pace off the ball, which is good. Well, that's good against pretty much anyone, right? And also, when it's the batsman's day, it's his day then. There's nothing Amir can do about it, right? And Amir was not that great. I mean, let's be honest, that final over that he bowled, uh, you know, that over wasn't that great either. Against Sharfane Rutherford, I think it was. So Amr just has not been great this entire season. You know, it wasn't just against Hadrat it's against everyone. You know, that's why I don't understand the attitude he has. Like, you're not the great baller that you once were. Like, calm down, alright? <laughs> 
You were once a great bowler, yeah, but you're not anymore. I mean, look at your stats. They suck. I think so as well. I think it'll be easy for Peshawar Zelmi. They've got wickets in hands, you know. Uh, so it'll be fine. I think so. The bowlers are doing really well at the moment. But one, four or six, and then the pressure's back on Islamabad, you know. Yeah. Fahim's doing well. He's taking the pace off the ball, which is great. But, the, well, if that's true, if Ahmed's bowling depends on his uh, mood, then, well, he's not a great bowler then because his mood is never good. <laughs> Islamabad, I think. I'm not sure. We've never done well against Islamabad. Lahore be twice. Okay. And Lahore didn't make it. Brilliant. I think Islamabad beat us twice last season. I think they we didn't do too well against Islamabad last season. Yeah. There's a lot of batting to come and specifically batters who can just go off the tee like that. You know, like just start hitting them big whenever they want, however they want. Like true T20 players, power hitters, you know, like Kieran Pollard. Uh, Ravman Powell actually kind of looks like Kieran Pollard as well in the helmet, you know. <laughs> Yep. Shadab Khan's balling, man, ever since he started his batting, um, his balling is not the same, is it? He's not that great. You know? Like, that delivery was not, that was such a bad delivery. Like, it was so wide. He's given him so much room. It was such an easy shot for him to cut. Like, he just cut it. I don't know what that means. Isn't it happy to know that your whole team, a non proper batsman, scored more than every other player? My team is not Islamabad. I don't know what you're talking about. Shadab is aggressive. Yeah, but uh, I don't need that kind of aggression. The, uh, he's aggressive like Shakib al Hassan. He yells and kicks and argues and stuff. Who cares about that kind of aggression? N like, <laughs> be someone who scores a lot. Be someone who gets wickets. That kind of aggression I need, you know? Another dot. Good comeback. He's given up six so far, which is fine. They need over nine now.
Yeah, well, the only difference between Shakib and him is that he hasn't yet kicked the stumps. Other than that, he's done the same things. He has argued with people. He has, he just yells like, <laughs> that's not aggression. That's just being a, you know, being an asshole. <laughs> like you show aggression when you take a wicket, you, do, you know, not before that, right? That's the problem with a lot of these young players that are coming up. You know, they see Virat Kohli, you know. He's like vocal on the pitch. But Virat Kohli is someone who plays well and then says something, right? He doesn't just start talking before he's even done anything, right? When they get a wicket, then he starts talking. That's the kind of aggression you need, not the one where you're just talking all the time. Like, that was another thing I didn't like about Sarfaraz. The whole day he was just yelling. I'm like, why are you yelling? Like, can you not talk like a normal person? Like, come on, man. Well, he does like taking wickets as well, so... He's either kicking wickets with his legs or hitting them with the ball. Now, obviously, we the cricket fans prefer that he hits it with the ball. <laughs> But, uh, you know. Danny, it's too early. Maksud, yeah, maybe. Danny needs another season of PSL before he comes to the national squad. Oof. I'm looking forward to seeing Wasim, man. Sabine, you're talking about two year old things, man. Talk about something recent. I think Zaze will in T20. But uh, he's uh, the thing about players like Zaze is he's like uh, kind of like Shahid Afridi, you know? Kind of, not exactly. If it's their day, yeah, it's over for you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that I agree with that, Hamdan. The people who play well in the PSL just for one season should not be regular members of the national squad because the quality is very different. You know, the quality on international level and on in PSL is very different. Yeah, he's a good batsman in T20. But he's not that great in other formats, though. He doesn't have that temperament. Probably did. I mean, Afghanis and Pakistani and Indians and Bangladeshi and Sri Lankans, all those guys have faked their ages. <laughs> so probably... A lovely shot from Jono. All right. The thing is, they're middling the ball. It's just that they're not finding the gaps. I find that a bit weird, you know? 
They're finding the middle of the bat. Yes, they nicked a couple. Obviously, they're gonna. I mean, they're not perfect. But for the most part, they have been middling the ball, but it just goes straight to the fielder, you know? Arish Ali. Um, who? For uh, Hadratullah? For whom? It's still going? Yeah, it's still going. <clears throat> I think they're they're going to make this one a closed one. It shouldn't be a closed one. But, but I think they're going to make it a closed one. Uh, all right. I missed a couple of... Yeah, Zaze is going to change that. Zero sixes, four fours. But uh, it's it, he's not um, connecting all that well today. And that's all right. Um, he's rotating the strike. As long as he keeps a wicket, you know, he can always try to go after the bowlers, you know, and at the death. No, there's no news on Cricket 21 game. Yeah, that's sad. I agree with you there. Um, they, they should try and play, you know, young players against uh, associates. Uh, they don't. That's the weird part. Like, even against associates, they're playing Bob Razam and Rizwan and, like, come on, give Rohit Nazir or some other young wicket keeper, Azam Khan or someone. Is Azam Khan a keeper? Well... What kind of keeper would he be? Look at the size of him. <laughs> I guess he can cover more area behind the sticks. But, uh, you know, other young keepers. I just know of Rohel Nazir and that's it. You know? They keep selecting Sarfaraz as well. Like, Sarfaraz's time is gone, man. He was once a great captain and a great batsman. He's no longer that. Let's give some y other young guy a chance, you know? Okay, well, I don't know how he's going to keep. The guy can barely move. <laughs> Two dots. 108 runs required in 64 deliveries. Things aren't looking so well for Peshawar. But, like I keep saying, they have nine wickets in hands and two well-settled batsmen. Oh, <laughs> that googly was a good one. I mean, honestly, Sabine, look at him, right? Look at the size of him. Does that look like someone who would make a good wicket keeper? You know? And Azam Khan is dedicated. He has lost a lot of weight. Okay, so what? <laughs> He's still, what, like 300 pounds, so why does it matter? Oh, that's gone. Four runs. Decent keeper, they say. Of course, they're gonna say that he's Moon Khan's son. They're they're gonna praise him, you know. You know, like let me give you an example, Hamdan. Let's say I give you five thousand rupees, right? Now, 5,000 is a very big number, but 5,000 rupees, 
doesn't really matter, right? It's the same thing with Azam Khan. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. What was it, like 30 kg? That's a lot of weight. But if you take 30 kg off of like 300, well, that's still 270 kg. Like, that's still a lot of weight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and Shadab Khan has just been smacked for a big one. All right, so 10 runs from this over. Required rate is back under 10. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Bashawar is fine. Like, it looks like Bashawar might be in a little bit of trouble here, but they're fine. They're doing just fine. Shut up, Khan. Oh, lovely. That was a really good shot. He picked it. It was not high enough, you know. It was pretty low, but he managed to scoop it up. 416 sixes so far. Starting off with a wide, Muhammad Wasim. Not a great start. Well, Seam is a good bowler. Uh, again, I would like to see him play more. But, uh... Yeah, that's true. See, another, uh, you know, uh, analogy I'll make. So, here's how things work. Oh, there's another one. Let's go. Hathratullah is back. Six runs. We'll get back to your comment, but you just hit a massive hit. All right, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, that's what I'm saying. A couple of sixes, and Peshawar's right back into this one. Hazratullah Baba. All right, so now you have seven runs in the over with just one delivery bald. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, about that Azam Khan thing, right? I have nothing against Azam Khan. Look, I, I hope he's one of the greatest batsmen to ever live. I'm a Pakistani. Of course I want good batsmen to come and play for Pakistan. Another six. <laughs> Let's go. Brilliant. All right. Two sixes in three deliveries. This time's a Z. But yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, Azam Khan. I hope he does well. But here's the thing, right? When you go for a job interview, right? What do they ask you? They ask you, where have you worked, right? How many, how much time have you spent uh, at another company or, right? They ask you, how, what have you done, right? How good are you? That's what they want to know. How good are you? And you tell them, right, I've worked in this company, that company, and I've worked for this many years and this and that. And then they hire you, right? They're like, oh, you've worked for a pretty big company. You're a good, you must be good at what you do. Well, Azam Khan's case is the opposite. He's done nothing. And he got selected. And now after he got selected, now he's going to work hard? Don't you work hard first? So get selected? He got selected first and now he's going to work hard? Does that make any sense to you? Like, it's only because he's Muin Khan's son. That's the only reason they selected him. He's not a good batsman. We've seen it. His performance crap. Shadab Khan. <laughs> Shadab Khan's lost his touch with the ball. I said this earlier. Ever since he started focusing on his batting, his bowling's been crap. And that's why I rate Osman Khadr more than uh, Shadab Khan now. You know, it was a really good comeback from uh, uh, Wasim in that over. He got under a lot of pressure. Because he's big. Sad. That's why he's called a power hitter. That wasn't out, I don't think. Maybe. 
Maybe they saw. Here's the thing. I didn't think that. Uh, which one was it? The. I forgot. Who was it? It was today. There was someone. Colin Monroe or something. They went for the review. And I was like. That's not out. And then they reviewed it. And it was out. Who was it? Was Mama Darfan or someone? I forgot who it was. But it was Colin Monroe who was batting. And I was like, that that doesn't look out to me. And then they reviewed it and he was out. Yeah, Hasnan, that's that's the, the culture we have in Pakistan like this. I just don't understand it. Like, no one would ever even think about something like that happening here, you know, in, in like... England or New Zealand or any of the other countries like Kyle Jamison you know he's 25 years old 26 actually he was 25 years old when he made his debut and we have like 16 year olds making debuts like what's going on bro Marnus Labaskachny he was 24 or 25 when he made his debut so like they make sure these players are seasoned, they're ready for international level before they go on international level. Now, yes, sometimes you get that gem, right? Muhammad Amir was one of them, right? Muhammad Amir was how how old was he? Like seventeen or eighteen when he started, and he was so good. Shaheen, look at Shaheen. What is he? Twenty years old, nineteen years old, and he's doing so well. So every now and again, you will get a good player like that. It's a good shot straight down the ground from Hadratullah. Four runs. 90. Yeah. He hit it right at the bowler. I, I, I'm kind of worried. He's going to hit the bowler. Mohamed well, Elasim did well getting out of the way of that one because that was a powerful hit. Yes, the caught behind. Yes. Colin Monroe today. Ooh, good comeback. It was an expensive over from Wasim, but it's all right. It happens. It's T20 cricket. That's always a possibility. You're uh, you're never safe <laughs> in T20 uh, cricket. No, no, it was Colin Monroe. I'm talking about the bowler. I think it was Irfan, I think. Was it the Imran guy or Irfan? I think it was Irfan. I'm not entirely sure. The page is not updating. Let me refresh it real quick. Ah, there we go. Now it's updated. Better, right? 97, 98 now of one delivery. Much better, right? Shada back into the attack. His ball two deliveries already. A six and one run. That was such a huge hit as well. Oh, there goes another one. Let's go. That's a Zay for you. <laughs> Shut up, Khan. You know, he started focusing on his batting. And whatever runs he scores with his bat, he makes sure he gives that mu at least that much in the ball. <laughs> if he scores a 50, then he has to give up 50 runs. You know, he's picked up the googly real well. <laughs> oh, shut up. I feel bad for him. I feel so bad for him. Two back-to-back -back sixes. Well, three total sixes in the same over. <laughs> Bang. Oh. <laughs> Shada Pan's going to hit a 50 today with the ball. <laughs> 
Brilliant. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you guys. Didn't I tell you this? Two good overs for Peshawar Zalmi and that's it. It's over for Islamabad. That's why I was saying it is very important that Peshawar does not lose wickets and it is very important for Islamabad to get wickets because that's the only way they're going to win this game if they get one of these guys out. John O'Wells or Hazratullah, they're both well settled. They're both on 40. Well, John O'Wells is on 45. Hazratullah Zazay is on 44 of 33 deliveries, 34 deliveries for John O'Wells. Both going at over 130 strike rate. Both have hit over two sixes. Two for John O'Wells, three sixes for Hazratullah. Both. Both have hit exactly five fours. So, you know, it's <laughs> the only way it's going to work out is uh, if they get wickets. And it doesn't look like they're going to get wickets. Did I watch YouTubers versus TikTokers fight? No, I didn't. Uh, the only boxing fights that I have seen are all of KSI's fights. Uh, and also, I saw Logan Paul versus uh, Mayweather. Other than that, I haven't seen any other fights. So they've hit one, two, three, four, five sixes in the last three overs. Brilliant. Yeah, no need to take extra uh, risk here. You've hit, you've got, uh, what is it? 21 runs in the over, so just, that's a lot of runs, you know. Yeah, asking rate is below 8 now. Just, you know, find the Austin McBroom. What kind of name is that, Austin McBroom? <laughs> Sounds like a made-up name. Like, you know one of that, one of those names that I like to make? Like Chokey McChokerson. <laughs> Shirjil or Saheb Maksud? On current form, Saheb Maksud. Yeah, absolutely. Saheb Maksud, 100%. But Shirjil does have the ability to just go off, though. But that was before he got banned. I, I, I don't know what happens to these guys. When they get banned, they're just no longer as good. Same thing happened with Amir, you know. Before he got banned, he was so good. Afterwards, he was he's okay now. Like, he's not that great of a bowler anymore. Well, at this rate, I'm expecting Peshawar to uh, qualify. So my reaction will just be like, all right, we made it to the final. Now, my reaction when they wins, that's going to be great. W when's the final, actually? Hold on, let's look it up. When is the PSL final? Well, actually, can someone tell me? I don't want to close the window, you know. I don't want the stream to go bad again. <laughs> Do you guys know uh, when the final is? Um, here's the thing, Hasnan. Here's what I'm saying. You want Pakistani batsmen to play well. I want Pakistani players to play well. But why do you want other country players to do bad? That's what I don't understand. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Can't both play well? You know? Multan versus Peshawar incoming. Is it 25th or 24th? Can you guys leave the, uh, the time zone next to the date? Because someone said 25th, someone said 24th. So which time zone is it? Because I have a feeling it might be the time zone thing. <clears throat> so 24 that's in two days so that's on thursday well in pakistan it's probably going to be friday right no it's going to be thursday in pakistan as well right 
Hold on, how does it work? Uh, so it'll be 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. at night in Pakistan. Am I correct? Nine PM, okay. I was an hour off. Nine PM Pakistan standard, okay. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. One run. Fahim's bowled well today, you know. He's bowled really well, but he hasn't gotten any wickets. See, that's the problem with Islamabad today is they're not able to get wickets, which is not that great. They, they need wickets. They need wickets. Yeah, so I might be able to stream then the final. And I, I by the way, I called it. I told you John O'Wells is making his debut today. He's going to do something mad. And he's doing something real mad here. 46 of 35 deliveries. Oh, well, look at that. Both the batsmen going at exactly the same rate. 131.42 46 runs by both of them of 35 deliveries <laughs> it's a brilliant split Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, Hasnain, that why are you so disrespectful towards Afghanistan? Like, why do you have a problem with Afghanistan? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Alex Hales does well. You should be more happy that a batsman who's from Afghanistan is doing well because he's the underdog. You know, you should be supporting the little guy, not the big guy. It's like you saying that, uh, you know... If there's a war between, like, Afghanistan and USA, you just want USA to keep bombing them and Afghan to get destroyed. Like, why do you want the little guy to keep getting destroyed? Doesn't make any sense. You know? I always support the underdog, the guy who's I know is not that great. I always want that guy to do well. Oof. Swing and a miss. It's pretty good over so far from Fahim. Given up only four runs, he's got one ball to go. Yeah, but they yeah they're pretty close games from Quetta, but also that. Um, uh, Quetta then finally won, which is great, you know. Again, in that game, I was rooting for Quetta. I was like, Quetta has gotten so close to it, and also they're one of the, they're they're the smallest team in the PSL, I think, right? I was like, all right, they should win, like you know. I don't care about the World Test Championship. If it's going to be like this, the final is going to be like this, I don't give two shits about it then. Who cares? Like, you're going to have rain for three days and just two days of cricket. Like, oh. you want me to care about a tournament? Then manage it well, you know. Don't just put numbers on the back of the shirt and expect me to care. Like, it's the same old crap as before, you know? Like... <laughs> Like, that's not going to make me interested in the tournament. 
what's going to make me interested in tournament is seeing cricket and we didn't see cricket so i really don't care about the test championship It's not a final? It is a final. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, I agree. Final's not like that. Also, which final in the world, take any sport, which final, other than cricket, which final has a draw, a tie, joint winners? That's so stupid. Like, come on, man. A final should always have a winner and a loser. Exactly. Lovely shot. Hassan Ali to John Wells. Four runs. That'll relieve a bit of pressure. And that brings up the 50 for John o as well. 50 on debut. Very well played Aussie youngster. Well, he's not that young. But, you know. Oh, absolutely. Kumar Sangakara deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He, in my opinion, is the best wicketkeeper batsman in the world. He was an exceptional wicketkeeper and he was an even better batsman. And he was so classy. So classy, man. His cover drives were a beauty, man. It was incredible. going well leg by all right so we need exactly eight and over from this point onwards and that's very achievable in the t20 with the short boundaries the thicker bat bats you know side you know what i think they should do so in american sports what they do is the final is not one match. The final is different, many different matches. It's like a series. That's why in America, when you ask someone when's the final, they're like, there is no the final. By the way, Hazratullah just with a six. Bang! It's 11 runs in the over. So. <laughs> in style. The only way he knows how to bat He's brought his 50 up in style. And uh, it's a really good one. Out of the ground. Nearly 100 meters, man. Oh. So uh, back to what I was saying. In America, they don't have the final. They have... Seven matches. So it's a seven match series. Whoever wins four of those matches wins the final. That's how this test should be too. Make it three matches. Seven is too much, right? Because it's test. And the American games are a lot smaller, so they can do seven. It's not that big of a problem. But cricket, the matches are extremely long. So make it three matches. Three match series. Works out well, you know? Football, uh, UEFA Champions League, doesn't it have two matches too? One home, one away? Do that. Make it two matches, or you know. But just don't have joint winners, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I I hope he does, man. I, I, I want uh, all the Afghan players to do well. I wish them all the best, man. Oh, wow, that... They showed 93 meters. 
Or was that a replay of another six? It was 84 meters? <laughs> Or maybe I just saw... Yeah, it was 84. Okay, I think they were showing a replay of another six. They... They can do that as well. Yeah, Hasnain, you're right. I think what they should do instead... Uh, of playing three matches or two matches or or just playing forever <laughs> is because that's a bit of a disadvantage i think to the the fourth innings team not the fourth inning the team that bats first because they didn't have as much time as the uh lovely shot from hazardullah again uh one with the seam gives up a boundary on the first delivery anyways what was i saying it's a bit of a disadvantage then to the team that bats first because the team that bats last then can take forever, right? They can take as long as they want. So I think what they should do instead is the first innings and second innings is just a regular test. You can take as long as you want, just do whatever. The third innings and the fourth innings, each innings is 100 overs and you just get how many runs you want in 100 overs and then the next team comes in, they have 100 over, like ODI, but instead of 50 overs, they have 100 overs. Do you know what I mean? That way you'll have a winner at the end. Okay. Yeah, they should all be in the PS, I mean the CPL. Uh, that way they get more exposure. They get to play against other players in different conditions as well. Because it's uh, fun to play at home, you know, in conditions that you're used to. But um, playing in conditions that you're not used to, you know, that's very important as well. Zazay with another lovely six. He's really turning it on, isn't he? <laughs> Someone just called me. I'm sure you guys heard that. Bang! And there's a wicket. He's finally gone. Hadratullah Zazay. Gone. Wasim makes a good comeback. He gave up 11 runs in that over in two deliveries. And on the third delivery, well, he's got him. Yeah, but Hazrat Allah have done the damage. He's done so much damage that it's an easy win. Easy task from this point. They nearly need a run a ball. Nearly. Not you know, thirty four or thirty three deliveries, so almost a run a ball. So the job's pretty much done at this point. Yep, says A is gone. I wonder who they're gonna send in next. No, not the final. The Champions Trophy has two legs. The semifinals, the quarterfinals, the round of 16, I'm talking about that. Un I was unlucky for Zazay, but that was very smart bowling, though. He took the pace off the ball, Mohamed Wasim. That was very well done. Yeah. Hazratullah Zazai. Yeah, he's done a real good job. He's given uh, you and me <laughs> pretty much the game, you know? The game's with Peshawar. Islamabad is out. I mean, it's not over until it's over. 
but it's pretty much over, let's be honest. You've got Shaib Malik, you've got Rutherford, you've got uh, uh, Powell, you've got uh, Wahab Riaz, Omeyed Asif, so much batting still to come, and we've only lost two wickets so far. Malik starting things off lovely with just a single. Putting John O'Wells, the well-settled batsman, on strike. I think it might be for next year. I'm not entirely sure. I've not been following the World Test Championship all that well because they've made a mess of the final and I'm just... Uh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> you know? They kill the whole vibe with mismanaging it. Yeah, it's not looking great for Islamabad. Unless they do something really special, like Wasim just takes three wickets in a row, like a hat-trick. And then Shadab Khan comes in and he gets like a hat-trick as well. Or Hassan Ali, whoever comes in next, I'm not sure. All right, at the end of 15 overs, it's 144 with a loss of two wickets. Bashar Zalmi in firm control. That's money. It runs in three overs. That's not that great either. But uh, it's just not been a great day for Islamabad. And, uh, you know, at least Hassan Ali can say he's done something with the bat. I mean, the other players can't even say that, especially Shadab Khan. He's done nothing with a bat, and he's been even worse with the ball. You know, it's not been a good day for the skipper. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the bowling stats. Um, so all the bowlers have bowled three overs. Everyone have one over remaining. Now, if we look at Akif Jawed and Fahim Ashraf, their uh, economy rate is pretty good. Well, actually, exceptionally good, considering, you know, you've got 12, 10, and then 9. These two are looking real good, and they've got a, an over each. I think they'll have to try and utilize them in a way. But then again, it was a time when Peshawar was struggling, right? They weren't able to get runs. Maybe that's what that is, you know. Yes, I mean, yesterday, uh, to be honest, I am I mean, I'm a Peshawar fan, right? But I'll be honest, yesterday, that should have gone to the Super Over. That should have been a catch, and we should have gone into a Super Over, but it wasn't. They dropped two catches, easy catches. Well, being a Peshawar fan, obviously, I want Peshawar to win. But the thing about this is, if Multan wins, I'm still happy. Because th it'll be the first time they will win the PSL. But obviously I want Peshawar to win. Yeah, I'm assuming most people would want Multan to win. Since they haven't won one before. Unless your name is Hasnain, In which case you want Peshawar to keep winning. And <laughs> you don't want the smaller teams to win anything at all. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I think it will be a close one. Uh, is South Africa coming to Pakistan? Or is Pakistan going to South Africa?
yeah, but Lahore, let's be honest, though, Lahore is never going to win it, so, <laughs> you know, let's not uh, go by that. No, not never. I'm sure they'll win at some point. <laughs> I don't know when, though. This is a very expensive over from Shadab. The skipper is doing really well. 50 comes up for Shadab Khan. <laughs> You know what the bowler should... You know how the batsmen raise their bat when they hit a 50? The bowler should, like, show the ball to the whole crowd when they concede 50 runs. 55 of uh, 24 deliveries. That's a pretty good uh, strike rate. That's 137.5 strike rate from Shadab Khan. <laughs> Economy rate, otherwise known as... <laughs> It's a good slog sweep from um, uh, Malik. I like how Malik is doing the do-rag. He thinks he's from the Caribbean, Trent. He's trying to copy your, uh, your players. Straight down the ground. Good use of feet. It's another boundary. Holy moly. At the end of 16 overs... It's 162 with a loss of just two wickets for Peshawar Zalmi. And we just need 13 runs to win and 24 uh, deliveries. It's pretty much a wrap. Peshawar have won. Yeah, his brilliant 50. Well done, Shadab Khan. Captain's uh, knock <laughs> from Shadab. <laughs> Leading from the front like a leader should. Yep, scoring 50s with the ball. Man, everybody, look, here's the th here's what you guys don't understand, right? You guys are stuck in, like, the 90s thinking, the backwards thinking. Everybody scores 50s with the bat. It's It takes something really special to score a 50 with the ball, bro. It's the new, it's the modern cricket. You guys don't understand it, man. <laughs> you guys don't understand modern cricket. That's all it is. Three runs given by Hassan Ali so far in two deliveries. I'm very impressed with John O'Wells, man. So Pakistan are going over to West Indies. I was asking about the South Africa one. Are they going to South Africa or is South Africa coming to Pakistan? Because South Africa did come to Pakistan already. So I'm assuming now Pakistan is going over to South Africa. Because I think Pakistan did go over to South Africa as well, right? I think they did already. But they didn't do a test, though. It was ODIs and T20s. Wait, or was there a test as well? I don't remember. Lovely shot from Malik. Malik wants to finish this game off in style. Just six runs required now in 21 deliveries. Show him Malik. Showing his class. Showing his uh, experience. Showing that uh, form is uh, temporary. Class is permanent. Sure, Malik. He's got so much experience, man. He's played for what, 20 years? Over 20 years? It's a long time, man. That's almost the same amount of time as my age. <laughs> um, yeah, but aren't there two tours that Pakistan is going on? There's one with West Indies, and I thought the other one was South Africa. Or is it Zimbabwe? I think it might be Zimbabwe. It was one of the African countries, man. I don't remember now. That's another boundary from Malik. <laughs> Alrighty, then just two runs required now. It's a wrap. Yeah, Pakistan and England are having a... No, I think it's Sri Lanka. Wait, who is Pakistan having a series with? It was West Indies, Sri Lanka, and one other team. Am I confusing things? Yeah, yeah, I know about the West Indies and England tour, but I thought there was another tour as well. All right, that's the end of that. That's another boundary. Show of Malik. 
finishes it off in style. Bashar Zalmi makes it to the final yet again. By the way, fun fact, Bashar Zalmi is the only team in the PSL who have qualified to the playoffs every year. So, doing well so far. So proud to be a Zalmi fan. And uh, it's a beautiful innings from uh, Sherb Malik as well. 32 runs of 10 deliveries. That's uh, 320 strike rate. And yeah, it's going to be Multan versus Peshawar. Let me know who do you think is going to win between Multan and Peshawar. Okay. Yep, Shadab man of the match for Peshawar, definitely. He might as well. Look. Look. Um, uh, Hassan Ali went to Islamabad, right? We'll do a swap. Send Shadab over to Peshawar. He's playing really well for... Peshawar already. Actually, we don't need him. He's playing for us for free. Why do we need to pay him to play for us? He's already paying for us for free. <laughs> Islamabad is having to pay him for us. Who's your team? Lahore or Karachi? Hasnain. Yeah, I'm actually happy to see Multan in the final as well. Uh, because, like I said, they've never won it before. And also because of Rizwan. I really like Rizwan. I've made a video on him on this channel as well. On his career. I, I, I love that guy. So, I, I won't mind seeing him lift the trophy. But, of course, my team is Peshawar. So, I want Peshawar to win. Oh, Lahore. Ooh. Okay. You are a damaged individual. I feel sorry for you, bro. It's every year, bro. Every year. Well, last year, actually, they did well. They went to the final, right? <clears throat> yep. Shadab with the 50. Man of the match, definitely. All right. Yeah, I might... Uh, there's a very good chance that I might uh, do a stream for the final as well. But yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining... Uh, me today um, had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. Subscribe to the channel, like all that good stuff. I'm doing Cricket 19 stuff. I'm also doing other videos on other players. I've done one on Babar Azam, I've done one on Rizwan as well. I've done one on uh, Indian players as well. I've done it on Rohit Sharma, Virat, Rishabh Pant, and I'm planning on doing other players as well. So, yeah, stick around for career modes and other streams and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then. Have a nice and assalamu alaikum to all my Pakistani brothers and sisters out there. And to everybody else as well from West Indies. I know at least one person in there is from the West Indies. See ya. Goodbye.